Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making for you a red pepper pizza. This is a really simple pizza. It's really, really yummy. I'm going to be using, as always, my wrap brand pizza crust. I love the tomato flavor. I have a link down below. You can use coupon code RVRS15. I am a proud wrap brand ambassador, and if you haven't tried it already, I know you're going to love it. Um, I'm going to start off with some red bell pepper that I dehydrated just for a few hours under 118 Fahrenheit. And now I'm making my marinara sauce. Very simple, you guys have seen this before. I keep reusing the clips, I hope you don't mind. But vine ripened tomatoes, red bell pepper, sun-dried tomatoes, um, and I'll have, of course, as always, the recipe link down below. And I love putting dates, sea salt, and red pepper flakes as well. Really, really yummy. And what I like to do when I put it on pizza is to dehydrate it. So this is the before, and you'll see the after is going to have that caramelized, more thick um, texture. So that's perfect for pizza. But you can use this marinara sauce with so many other things. You don't have to dehydrate it. But for pizza, I definitely suggest you do. And this is the clip I also reuse for my cashew cheese. Pre-soaked cashews, lemon juice, sea salt. You could stop right there. But I like to add spring onions, jalapeno, and I also add sea moss gel, which you don't have to do. But I do have a link down below all about sea moss gel. So here I'm adding my dehydrated marinara sauce on my wrapped pizza crust and I'm just going to spread it all around. You can see how thick it has gotten and it's really, really flavorful and tasty and it's perfect for pizza. Now instead of just spreading all of my cashew cheese evenly throughout the entire pizza, I wanted to have dollops of cashew cheese so that it just had like, I don't know, a different texture than I'm used to. And I saw someone on Instagram um, post a picture of pizza which actually inspired this recipe and um, that's why I chose to do it this way and I really liked how it came out definitely different than I'm used to I liked using the dried basil which was a nice change let me know what you guys think in the comments thank you so much for watching liking commenting and subscribing and I'll see you real soon guys bye